Welcome to the Kemp IT Law Vlog. I'm Richard Kemp and this is one of a short series in which we look at what happens where law firm regulation and legal tech intersect. These vlogs are based on pieces we've contributed with Paul Longhurst, director of Three Kites, the UK's leading specialist tech consultancy to law firms, for the Navigating Legal Tech column in the Global Legal Post, whose URL is on your screen now. Today's theme is how should firms approach file opening and what are the key legal aspects they should bear in mind. The start point is to assess not what people are supposed to do, but what they actually do, and then to bridge any gap between the two states. The firm's file opening policy will bind together a number of strands. The overarching legal requirements, the matrix of the firm's business, and the people and IT-based assessments processes and governance that the firm applies. The background rules on client onboarding and matter inception continue to get much more stringent and wide-ranging. The fiduciary position of solicitors has always put us under strict conflict of interest rules, and these rules are much stricter than might sometimes be imagined. The regulatory background of anti-money laundering, SRA and data protection duties has also continued markedly to intensify in recent years. Targeted sanctions have hit the headlines recently, affecting firms with Russia-related business. And commercially, clients increasingly have particular requirements about when, how and by whom new matters are to be opened and accounted to the client for. And in a challenging insurance market, Firms, professional indemnity insurance providers are seeking more and more information about firms' onboarding policies. All this has had the effect of growing the rulebook lots in recent years, meaning there's a lot that IT system providers in this area need to keep on top of for their law firm clients. Balancing these black letter law rules with commercial needs is putting growing pressure on firm management to operate client onboarding and matter inception compliantly, effectively and efficiently. And although firms have invested heavily in recent years in people and technology resources to achieve this, getting compliance and business needs aligned can be a real challenge. In practical terms, effective governance is critical. The firm's policy should take into account all stakeholders and provide effective and timely escalation to mediate between the different interests that naturally arise in a law firm setting. From the partner who wants to get my guys billing on this great new client right now, to the team who have to make sure that the great new client isn't on a proscribed list or conflicted out somewhere. Above all, the policy and the way it operates need buy-in, so they're trusted across the firm and remove any perceived need to go underground or off-grid. If you'd like to find out more about our work with law firms, check out our website at kempitlaw.com. <laughs>